Our department is primarily concerned, I suppose, with changing the world. So we want to, want to build things, we want to transform people's lives through the development of um, infrastructure for sustainable engineering. We have two undergraduate degree programmes. We have the BEng and the MEng in Engineering Civil. Um, we also have, as part of the Civil Engineering programme, an international option as well, so that students in their third year can go and study at one of our affiliate universities around the world. Our undergraduate programmes are unique in that they are very scenario based. So we'll have blocks, maybe four or five weeks of teaching, and then there'll be a scenario, which is a week-long project, uh, run at the end of this cluster of teaching to kind of to test what you have learned in the weeks that followed and to give you a real life problem to work on. So right from year one, you'll be set real life engineering problems to solve in your groups. When we're looking at the personal statement part of the UCAS application, what we're looking for is evidence of your passion for civil engineering uh, and also for any relevant experience you might have in this aspect too. Uh, we're looking for good team players, evidence of leadership if you have any. This doesn't have to come from an engineering uh, context, it can come from your broader academic experience as well. We're looking to see perhaps if you have a passion for a particular part of civil engineering as well. Do you love structures? Are you really interested in transport engineering? Uh, don't be afraid to bring your, uh, your loves and your passions to the fore here. On completion of uh, our degrees, either the BEng or the, the MN, uh, students go on to become graduate civil engineers, structural engineers, project managers in companies all around the world. A lot choose to stay in London as well, which is really, uh, which is really nice. Um, also, students will go into the sort of more traditional city roles into the graduate recruitment programmes there. And actually in the last couple of years we've had a few students who've gone on to set up their own companies and have gone more on the entrepreneurship side to their programmes.